السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے آئی ہیو سلیکٹڈ دا ٹاپک آف دا سائن آف جونا اینڈ جیزس کرائسٹ پیس بی اپان بوتھ آف دیم دیٹ از اے سائن دیٹ جیزس کرائسٹ پیس بی اپان ہم ٹاکس اباؤٹ ان دا گاسپلس ہی ٹاکس اباؤٹ ہاؤ No sign shall be given to his nation except the sign of Jonah. For just as Jonah was for three days and three nights in the belly of the whale, so shall the Son of Man, that is Jesus Christ, be in the belly of the earth for three days and three nights. I want to take to you to uh, the official website of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, which is www.alislam.org. And let's see what information we can find on this sign. And let's try to understand this sign better. better. So let's ho- head on over to the website of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, alislam.org. Uh, here is, uh, I have done a ser- search result, but here's the um, main page. And if you type in sign of Jonah on the main page, it will take you to some options. If you click on the first option, it takes you to this page, which talks about the sign of Jonah. So very briefly, The sign of Jonah is uh, mentioned in Luke chapter 11, verses 29 to 30, that it says when the people were gathered together, Jesus began to say, this is an evil generation. They seek a sign and there shall be no sign be given to it, but the sign of Jonah, the prophet. For as Jonah was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall the son of man be. Uh, be to the to this generation and again in Matthew chapter 12 verses 39 and 40 he answered and said unto them an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign and there shall be no sign given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonah for as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly so shall the son of man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth and while we are at it let me show you another website which is uh, Bible Gateway just to uh, uh, to confirm that what we are searching for, what we are mentioning on alislam.org is not different from what uh, an official website of the uh, Bible says any different. So we have quoted uh, Matthew chapter 12 verses 39 to 40. And as you can see, it says here that a wicked and adulterous generation, and this is for the new international version, by the way, which um, is commonly used uh, by Christians. A wicked and adulterous generation asks for a sign, but none will be given to it except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the belly of the huge fish, so shall the Son of Man will be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Now, back on alislam.org, the understanding that we can have very clearly from this uh, prophecy is that Jesus was given this sign that is... similar that was to be similar to the sign of Jonah the prophet now what was the sign that was given by Jonah to the Ninevites the Bible says in Jonah in the book of Jonah now the Lord had appeared a great fish to swallow up Jonah and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly and said I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord and he heard and he heard me Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. Now, according to this verse in the Bible, Jonah was swallowed up, eaten up by a big fish, where he remained three days and three nights. So he went into the belly of the fish alive. He stayed there three days and three nights alive, and then, then came out alive from the belly of the fish. So it was a sign given to them. Now, when we compare this to Jesus, we are told that, that no, 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 he died before going into the belly of the earth. He died uh, and then he remained dead. And in fact, Christians would argue that he was in hell for this period of time. And then he came back and he was resurrected. If that is the case, then there is no parallel between this sign and the sign of Jonah. The only way, the only way to have a parallel between this sign and the sign of Jonah was if Jesus Christ went into his uh, affliction uh, alive, remained in that state of affliction for some period of time, and then came out alive, and there was no death and resurrection. Uh, 
And that is the Ahmadiyya Muslim perspective on this, that Jesus Christ did end up on the cross, but he was taken down alive from the cro cross. And then after that, he was taken to a tomb. Now, of course, that tomb where he was taken to was not a tomb that we have uh, nowadays. Uh, it was uh, basically th those were like apartments um, dug out and people could just walk in and out. And the Bible talks about a big rock at the entrance and that rock could be moved back and forth. Now, um, so Jesus Christ was taken to the tomb in that place. He was even given an ointment for his treatment, for his, uh, the wounds that he was suffering from. And then later on, he, uh, once he recovered, a couple of days later, he was able to walk out of the tomb. So this is uh, uh, our perspective that Jesus Christ was not actually dead when he, uh, when he was uh, taken down from the cross. And he remained alive. He was just in a state of uh, unconsciousness. This is something that is talked about by the promised Messiah salam, in his book, Hakikatul Wahi. I have already downloaded it. But if you see here in the search, uh, you can uh, actually I had it open earlier. Uh, you can search for the, wor the words Hakikatul Wahi and this book shows up. Um, so you can uh, you can you can download this book from here. I've downloaded it here already and I've gone to page number 52 where the Promised Messiah says, it is strange that on the one hand, the Christian gentlemen quoting from the gospel say that this incident of Hazrat Isa resem resembled the incident of Yunus, Jonah, and the incident of Ishaq, and yet they themselves believe a creed that contradicts this resemblance. So our question to our Christian friends uh, is that where is that resemblance between Jonah and Jesus Christ? Are, are they able to tell us that Eunice entered the belly of the fish in a state of death and stayed in it for two or three days in this lifeless state? Hence, what resemblance does Yesu, that is Jesus, have with Eunice, alayhi salam? What resemblance does a, Eunice here, of course, mean, refers to Jonah. What resemblance does a living one have with the dead? Are the Christian gentlemen able to tell us that Ishaq was actually slaughtered and was then brought back to life? And if it is not so, what resemblance does the incident of Yesu have with the incident of Ishaq? So the, this is our basic question that we ask our uh, Christian friends when it comes to the sign of Jonah and how it was supposed to be manifested in the time of Jesus Christ through his, you can say, his trial or you can say his affliction or the trouble that he had to go through uh, through his arrest, and after his arrest, uh, he was taken up uh, to a sort of a court-like setting, and from there, he was taken to the cross. So, this affliction, or this trouble that Jesus Christ, this suffering that he had to go through, how does it resemble Jonah, the, the suffering of Jonah, or the, uh, the, the, the affliction that befell Jonah? What is their resemblance, how are they compared to each other, what was supposed to be similar in these two signs. We believe that the one thing that was similar between these two signs was the fact that Jonah was alive when he went into the belly of the fish, he remained there alive and he came out alive. And Jesus Christ also, uh, when he went into his affliction, he remained alive he was taken down from the cross alive but unconscious, and later on he was um, he was able to walk around again alive. So this is um, this is uh, our broad understanding of this issue of of the of the sign of Jonah and Jesus Christ, peace be upon him.